Hello, welcome back to the University Report. I'm Austin McCourt and I'm here with Sam and Cassie. How are you doing today? Good. Good. We're here talking about homecoming. And uh, can you talk a little about your positions on campus at all? Sure. I am the lead event producer for Campus Programming Relations. I oversee the event producers who put on the events weekly. And I also am in charge of the weekly budget. And I also oversee uh, meetings. Yeah, I am an event producer. so. Um, under Cassie, I do most of the events. A lot of the pre-planning, whether it's for a comedian contacting them or their agent. Um, we work really closely with um, most of the services provided in the student center, so production services, who does light stage, that kind of stuff. Uh, sometimes we work with catering and we work with event reservations to book those spaces. So a lot of my job is the pre-planning of events and then day of stuff, whether it's executing, picking up the comedian or um, scheduling various activities to be happening during that day. All right, and uh, can you talk a little about uh, the theme of homecoming this uh, week and uh, how it was chosen at all? Absolutely. The theme of homecoming is uh, uw Platteville goes to Hollywood. And the how that was chosen was um, in the spring, we have different organizations and halls come to a monthly meeting, I would say, and they choose different events that's going to be in homecoming and also the theme. They come up with several different ideas and then we put those ideas online and there's an online voting process that all UW Platteville students can participate in. All right, and could you talk a little bit about the events going on this week? I know there's some almost every night. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's been a really cool year because we are doing some new events. This year we did Hunger Games Dodgeball, which mm. is as cool as it sounds. <laughs> um, so this year, people submitted names and we chose two tributes from each organization, residence hall, group, or Greek. And um, they competed in a dodgeball activity where we had um, people in boxes moving, so we had moving obstacles, and we had people on the court who um, were just kind of there as distractions kind of thing. So really cool event, our first time doing it, and we might do it again in the future. Oh, awesome. Um, other events that we've had, last night we had two events, which was a very busy night. We had our obstacle course, and in honor of the 100 years of School of Egg, we had a Egg Olympics. So it was really cool and fun to plan because we did things like calf bottle drinking contest, <laughs> um, which was as cool um, as it sounds. I'm gonna keep saying that. <laughs> um, was as cool as it sounds. And then they had to put on drunk goggles and run through a minefield of cow pies. So we really just agricultural <laughs> it up. Yeah. Yeah, that makes That's sense. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> and then tonight we do have variety show. Um, what's cool about this is because it is Hollywood theme, we're doing the Oscars. So um, his name is Brian and he does all the big balloon things on campus. He has made two big balloon Oscar looking things. So they'll be there, lots of decoration, and that's where um, court will be announced, the winners of court for that. Awesome, yeah, and uh, coming up this Saturday is the football game and yes. uh, the lighting of the M. Mm -hmm. Could you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. Um, for the lighting of the M, we are bringing back a tradition that I'm not technically sure on how long that we uh, the tradition was gone for, but we brought it back last year, and it's called the Torch Relay. We have students um, starting at Alsvik Hall, and they run through. Basically, they run off in little um, groups, and they have checkpoints. And every checkpoint, a different runner starts, and they go to the M, and they potentially light the M for the show. And during the homecoming event, it's a little different this year. Um, for the football game, we are tentatively um, letting everyone know who won homecoming. We are actually going to be fully announcing the winners of homecoming at the lighting of the M. So that's a little different this year, but it, I think it's going to work out really well. We're just trying to get more people out to the M and have them experience this great tradition that we have going on. So. Right, right. And uh, speaking of the King and Queen, how were they selected? Yeah, absolutely. So it's a really um, it's a really fun process for us. E organizations, residence halls, and Greek life, they get to submit or nominate people from their group. Um, after that process of everyone being nominated, we do have a written portion where they submit an application saying this is why I should be king or queen, et cetera, et cetera. Um, then after that, uh, we narrow it down based on their writing examples, and we have a um, interview process. Men and women are interviewed separately. They pick the final six, is that right? Six. Final five. Final five. Men and women. Men and women. So from that point, um, those people are on court, and the voting comes up that next week. Mm -hmm. All right. 
And uh, leading up to the week of homecoming, I know we're already partway through it, um, leading up to that, were you excited for a certain thing or just the whole week in general? Yeah, um, homecoming is always a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It's a stressful week, um, and the week before I think is more stressful because it's had an anxiety of building up to the right. event. Um, I was really nervous for Hunger Games Dodgeball because it was such a new event. Yeah. Um, but it's one of those things where in hindsight it went really well and it's all okay, but there's that anxiety that builds up before. Absolutely. And I was most excited for a variety show. Our lead of, um, our, one of our event producers, Ali Sealing and Kate Brigman, they have been working very diligently with variety show and um, coronation as well. And it's always great to see all the different organizations, Greek Life and Residence Halls, show off their talents and really have fun with it. And it's just a really great thing to see. Right. All right. And uh, you're both part of CPR. Yes. And uh, can you talk uh, more about that at all? Absolutely. Uh, Campus Programming Relations is the programming board on campus. We put on most of the events throughout the year. Uh, we bring stand-up Saturdays, which are different comedians every month, um, who are very hilarious. We go to a concert, a conference every spring, and we find different talents that we can bring to our campus. Uh, we bring bands. We do dollar movie nights where you can just pay a dollar, and this is usually every month uh, to see any movie at the Millennium Cinema. Um, we help with homecoming, welcome weekend, family weekend. Um, we put on all of those different events. And we work really hard at um, trying to get every student on campus involved. It's kind of hard to get a student out of their dorm room and off playing video games, but it's, it's really great to see when you have, it's a great feeling when you have a big crowd at your events. It's just all, seeing all that work come together is great. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the, uh, the general idea behind, you know, our, our slogan before used to be the life outside of camp, or outside of school or classes. Classes. Yeah. Outside of classes. Um, and what was so, <clears throat> we recently changed it actually this past summer, mm -hmm. um, and now it's attend CPR events, save your social life. We're gonna yeah. play on words there. Um, <laughs> and so what, what's really great about that is, you know, how many times have you heard students say, there's nothing to do in Platteville. Oh, I'm right. so bored all the time, you know. And these events allow students to get out and meet new people, you know, and I don't think that they, uh, that they think of it just like that. Right. So <clears throat> we provide that outlet in a sense for students to really get out of their comfort zone, meet some new people, and have a good time. And almost all of our events are free mm -hmm. in the sense they've already paid for them through their student activities <laughs> fees. So what's great is come to Stand Up Saturday. It's free. Come to a um, uh, open mic night. I mean, we really do allow students to not have to feel stressed about having fun and having to pay for that. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> you know, there are a lot of fun events. and. Uh, are there any upcoming events that you're just super excited about that you want to share with us here on the University Report? Yeah, absolutely. Um, actually, we have two events next week, and we've got three events in the next week. So mm -hmm. here co we come off of homecoming <laughs> right into the next week, which We're is busy. exciting. <laughs> um, our next three events, we have Cash Cart. So Cash Cab is that show where you win money if you answer the, the questions right. Same thing, except ours is cooler. Um, <laughs> we have a cash cart, so it's a golf cart and you drive it around and we pick up students, drive them to class and ask them questions oh, kind of really? thing. Um, we then have Stand Up Saturday this coming Saturday, so the 18th, um, and we have two comedians coming, both really, really funny, and it's great because two is always better than one, right? right? right. Uh, and then last but not least, we do have our United We Stand. So we pair with Residence Hall, and we bring in a speaker. And the speaker we're bringing in this time is phenomenal. His name is Stan Pearson, and he's a motivational speaker and right. <clears throat> does a lot about how to be more confident with yourself, which I think every college student really could, you know, benefit from. So really excited for all the next coming events coming up, and then Family Weekend comes right after that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, thanks again, Sam and Cassie, for stopping on today. Yes, thank you so and, much. Uh, yeah. Uh, right after this, we'll be back with the University Report.